hello everybody thank you for joining us and this is a tutorial on your basic controls for your modded arcade this is a turtles cap and I'm gonna go ahead and show you around the basic controls and everything that you need to know to start playing uh, first let's go ahead and take your take a look at your buttons right here okay so you have your coin right here you have your player one you have a b c and d this is your coin or select this is your player one or start this is your a b c and d a is to go forward b is to go back so you're in this menu right here you want to go in you go ahead and press your a to go forward and right here you can navigate going up or going down if you're gonna if you want to go ahead and play a game what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and press once you're you're you know on the game selected game you're gonna go ahead and press your a to go in the game like so Can be loaded. And we press our coin. And we start the game. And we start playing. If you wanna go ahead and go get out of the game, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press your coin and your player one at the same time. Like so. Go, you go ahead and press coin and start at the same time. Or player one, coin then player one. And it'll take you out of the game. Now let's go out of this menu. We go ahead and press your B, which is, which is back right here and you're out of that menu. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you, if you go ahead and press your start right here, player one, it's gonna show you this main menu. Right here, what you can do, if you wanna go ahead and lower your volume, let's say you wanna lower it from here, you can go ahead and do it by pressing sound settings, going in by pressing the A right here. And as you can see right there, it's 90%. If you go left, it's gonna go ahead and lower your volume right here. You can always lower, lower it from your rocker right here on the amp, but if you wanna go ahead and do it from here, you can go ahead and do it from here too. Let's go ahead and leave it on 75. We go ahead and go back with your B, and we go back again, and the volume is back, it's, it's lowered, okay? Now, from this menu, if you go ahead and press your coin, you're going to bring your screensaver. And this is called a track mode. There's, it's going to show you videos of all the games that are included on this machine, on, on the arcade. If you go ahead and press your right on your joystick, it's going to take you to the next video. This is gonna start every five minutes. That's the way I leave it. I left it. So if even if you you don't press coin every five minutes, it's gonna start playing a video. And every 30 seconds is gonna change the video. And let's say that you're you know looking at this and you wanna play something that is on the screen. What you can do is if you go ahead and press your player one, it's gonna take you to that game. there you go now to get out of the game remember we need to press your coin and you start at the same time like so 
and it takes you out of the game. Now you go back to get out of this menu. And uh, let's go ahead and select another game. Let's go ahead and play some Nintendo. To go in, you're going to press your A to go forward. And right here, right here, if you can see, there are tons of games. But we, we want to go ahead and play Contra, okay? So what you can do to jump all the way to the C, if you go ahead and press your coins right here, you go ahead and press it, it's going to bring you to this menu. So right here with your left and right, we're going to go ahead and go to the C, okay, right there. To select that option, we're going to go and press our forward, remember, A, and it's going to bring you to the C. And that's more easier, you know, if you're on the B and you want to get all the way to the C, you can go ahead and do that, and it'll jump all the way to the letter you tell the, the computer to look for. And remember, there it is, Contra. We're going to go ahead and press our A to go in the game. Another thing that I wanted to show you is how to save a state and load a state, meaning that how to save your progress and then come back and start and start playing where you left off. So let's go ahead and you know press our player one or start. In this case is the start. Okay. And let's start playing. Know you're playing and then suddenly you need to do something or you want to keep playing tomorrow so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and press your coin and your C button at the same time like so right here and it's gonna bring you to this menu right here so if you go down all the way where it says save state and you press your D it's gonna save your progress okay now let's get out of the game with your coin and start at the same time and this is for all of the games there it is you're out now let's go back in again with your A And now we're gonna go ahead and load the game, okay? And we're gonna do that by pressing your coin and your C at the same time. Coin and C. It's gonna bring you back to this game, but in this time you're gonna go ahead and select load state with your D, with this one. And it'll bring you back where you left off and this works for all of the games arcade nintendo game boy whatever all of the games it should work okay now let's get out of the game coin and start to get out of the game coin and player one there it is it took out of the game okay now if, um, let's say that you want to play, uh, let's say an ensemble, Galaga, but for some reason, the game didn't work. So what you can do is you can go to your all games menu right here. You're going to go ahead and go forward with your A. And then we're going to go to the G. Remember, we can go ahead and do it, do it by going to the coin and then look for your G and then press your A to go forward to select and right here you can go ahead and check all the Galagas there there are on the system 
and for some reason one of them didn't work the other one should work so you're gonna find all of the Galagas and this is for all of the games of course now let's say that Galaga is one of your favorites okay and you want to save it on a another place instead of looking for it each time they want to play it so what you're gonna do is let me show you first I left a menu right here that it says favorites so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and look for your game and with your if you go ahead and press your D it's gonna send it to your favorites like so see oh there it is it was added to your favorites if you go back you go to the favorites and there it is right there actually you saw remove because I had it on my favorites already but if you go ahead and press your D you can either remove it or it will add it to your favorites so that's pretty awesome and um, another thing that I wanted to show you is how to turn off your computer or your Raspberry Pi whenever you're done playing what you're gonna do is from this menu you have two options option number one is by going in to right here where it says power and then where it says shut down you're gonna go ahead and press it and it'll shut down the Raspberry Pi and then after that with the remote that I left you're gonna go and ahead and press off and it'll shut down the whole system everything running on the back is going to be shut down but first the raspberry pi needs to be shut down and you're gonna see that it's shut down when all the lights are off it means that it's that it's off and then you can turn the rest of the system from here okay so that's one option the other option is let's go back if you go ahead and, and press your player one it's gonna bring you to this menu. You go down and then you press quit with your A. And then you go down again and it says shut down system. You're gonna go ahead and press it. And then it's gonna ask you that if you wanna really shut down, you're gonna go ahead and put yes. And it'll shut down the system. And you'll see that it's shut down when all the lights are off. And um, hope that this is helpful for you. And once again, if you have questions, if you have, uh, you need to know something else, you can always contact me. You can send me a text message. You can message me on Facebook, leave a comment on YouTube, and um, I'll be glad to help you out. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave, leave a thumbs up. Add any comments and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.